Hallelujah. Praise God. Welcome to this wonderful time. And God is ready to be a blessing. Welcome to Japheth Fidelis TV. My name is Japheth Fidelis. And God is up to do something today. You know, the other day I said it that our broadcast will now be Fridays, Wednesdays, and Sundays. Then we'll be featuring other women and men of God so that they can be a blessing through this television platform. And we're just believing that Jesus is going to do great and mighty things. But most of the time, I'll be talking on the subject of healing. I just feel a stir up in my heart based on the mandate of God upon my life. God said to me, be willing to do for healing what others are not willing to do. God said to me, do healing effortlessly. And I'm praying for you that as you be, as you watch these programs, healing will be made possible in every area of your life. Hallelujah. Now, this day, I just feel like sharing something that has been laid in my spirit. I'm going to be sharing from the book of Luke, Luke chapter 13. Luke chapter 13. I, I want to quickly read something. If you can get your Bible, bring it and let's read Luke chapter 13 from verse 10. Now, the Bible talks about this. Say Jesus was teaching in one of the synagogues, synagogues on the Sabbath. And behold, there was a woman which had a spirit of infirmity 18 years and was bowed together and could no wise lift up herself. Now verse 12 said, And when Jesus saw her, he called her to him and said unto her, Woman, thou art loose from thy infirmity. And he laid his hand on her, and immediately she was made straight and glorified God. Now for, for, for today and Wednesday and Sunday, we are going to be teaching from this scripture. But I want to quickly bring something out from this verse 11 the bible says she had a spirit of infirmity 18 years now let me say this then we'll be getting ready to pray the longevity of a problem is not a problem to divinity god is not scared with the longevity of your sickness no matter how long your sickness has been God has healing for you. The Bible says she had a spirit of infirmity 18 years. It was long, but God had healing in mind for her. And the Bible said Jesus met her in that synagogue and a healing took place. So you, you get ready to get to take your healing today because the longevity of your problem is not a problem. I don't care how long you have had the sickness. But there's another story in the book of John chapter 5. The Bible said this man, Jesus met him and he has been sick for 38 years. Wow! 38 years too small. God can heal any sickness no matter how long. And the Bible said when Jesus met this man, he said to the man, we thou be made whole. That's the question God is asking. In the longevity of your sickness, will you be made whole today? Will you tell yourself that no matter how long I have had this sickness, God has healing for me. Hallelujah. So as we're going to be praying for, for the sick, no matter how long you have had it, 38 years, 18 years. There was all that story that so blessed me. That so blessed me. Acts chapter 3. The Bible said this man was lame from the womb. Wow. He was lame from the womb. They brought him to the to the beautiful gate every day until he had a counter with the ministry of Peter and John. As we have a counter with my ministry today, I believe in God that the longevity of your problem will be knocked out by divinity. I want to pray for you. I want to believe God with you that God is going to step into your secrets. He's going to step into your situation. Can you strike out your hands? And let's pray. God is healing people with diabetes. Every sugar problem, we rebuke it. We speak to that sugar to be normal. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we pray for those who have swollen on 
on their faces. You have swollen on your faces. We command that swollen to go down in the name of Jesus. Maybe you have had this sickness for too long. Be healed, be made whole, be free in the name of Jesus. If you pray that prayer and you claim it, say amen, amen in Jesus. Maybe you pray that prayer and you're not born again. It's good to give your life to Jesus because when Jesus is in your life, no devil can come back with a disease. You want to say, Jesus, I repent today. Forgive my sins. Write my name in the book of life. Thank you because I'm born again. Thank you because I'm ready to enjoy healing forever. Thank you, oh God. If you pray that prayer, congratulations. Now, there are, there are, uh, the email is there. The phone numbers is there. You can call for partnership. You can call for sponsorship. You can call for counseling and prayer. Maybe you have someone that you want to connect this ministry to so that prayer can be prayed for him or her. Just call us. God has your healing in his hands and is ready to give you. Now, don't forget, Jack, come back on your way next time. Don't forget the longevity of your problem is a problem to divinity. Every day is a healing day. God bless you.